larger than life He'll give you strife He's tall He's tall, he's me He's labeling machine He's tall Rides a motorbike He'll tell you what it's like He's tall Don't know what he'll say He'll scare the kids away He's Todd He's Todd Hey, like the song said, I'm Todd. Thank you again for showing up this Thursday. Much appreciated. We've got a great show for you today. Uh, we had a great show yesterday, as a matter of fact. Dixie invited me on um, for their ICT. They do that, I believe, every quarter. And uh, yesterday's topic was on uh, smart building labeling essentials. And uh, man, there was like 650 people on there. Fantastic. I didn't realize how hot that topic was. Uh, but now I guess I'm the resident expert. <laughs> So uh, it's, it's pretty scary, but uh, nah, fantastic show. In fact, uh, the next show after this one, uh, we're going to do a, a BS with Todd about smart building. And um, I'm going to have to rewrite some specs and, and do stuff like that. But uh, those will be available at the time. So uh, put that on your calendars for two weeks from now. There will be uh, smart building essentials, labeling essentials. Uh, so I look forward to that one as well. Uh, shout out to uh, Chuck Bowser, Mr. Chuck Bowser. Here he is right here. All right. Uh, he sent me a couple of stickers. We generally don't say stickers in the labeling business, but uh, thanks for the stickers, uh, Chuck. Uh, you look a little younger and a few pounds lighter, man. That's good. I got I to gotta kind of follow suit on that because I'm getting older and wider, if you will. Um, so I hope uh, everyone's well out there. I know I got a, a message from Bruce Page in uh, Marble Junction, uh, Arkansas, uh, this morning saying, or somewhere out there, saying something like it was 34 degrees. You know what? It's going to be 74 here today in Southern California, and I'm freezing. So I, I just, uh, I, I can't imagine. So uh, stay warm out there and please stay healthy. So today's topic in continuing with the partnerships. Uh, with other manufacturing partnerships out there, um, we, we started this a long time ago with, and, and um, I was told yesterday on the show, by the way, to, to be um, uh, partner vendor neutral, but you know what? Nah. So there's a lot of certification companies out there. I shouldn't say a lot. All right there there's there's a couple that matter and we started this several years ago with fluke and it went very well and the whole idea is is to you know do everything ahead of time and and uh, load the unit uh the certification unit and then load it into the brother pte 550 and then uh, we we found a way to do it on on a couple of our apps and we're going to go over those apps later on in the show today and we brought am on board we got trend on board and um today we're talking softing and I'm going to introduce Tom uh, Jallo here in a minute. Me and Tom have been going back and forth for the past couple of weeks, but we both discovered, and uh, it's it's available now. We both discovered a way to do it on Android, because our iLink and Label, uh, which is on um, iOS, all right, um, Apple was not able to really load a database. And so Brother just launched uh, a new app on Android called the Pro Label Tool. Yeah, that's it, Pro Label Tool. We're gonna show you a little bit about that uh, today. Tom is, I'm, I'm telling you, man, he has become uh, an expert on this. And so Tom's gonna run through some of the, the features and benefits of softing. And then Tom has run, already run through the whole gamut of actually printing out to the machine. And so if time permits, we're, we're going to get through there. But I want to make sure and give Tom time to talk a little bit about um, certification, the importance of it, and really what Softing brings to the table. So, Kate, if you're back there, can you go ahead and throw the switch on Mr. Tom Jello? Good morning, Tom. How are you? Good morning, Todd. How are you? Good morning, Todd. How I'm just lovely, lovely. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Um, I appreciate you getting up this morning. Well, actually, it's afternoon where you are. All right. That's right. The East Coast on this side. Yeah. And I appreciate your time uh, talking about that subject. And as I uh, aforementioned, uh, you and I have been talking a lot about this. And you were actually uh, the first one out there to uh, run through what we typically do on iOS through our Android in our new app, our new Pro Label Tool app. And Tom says it works like a champ. Now, you know, we're, we're, we're going to see today. Now, keep in mind, folks, boys and girls, uh, th this is unscripted, unrehearsed, all right, uh, unprepared, and, and sometimes unprofessional. So, you know, <laughs> we've been talking about that before the show, Tom, and, you know, it's kind of anything goes on this thing. So what Tom's going to do is, and I'm going to stay in the background and try and be quiet, which is tough for me to do, but I'm going to stay in the background and Tom's going to run you through a couple of things, starting with what what um, you know Softin brings to the table, and then he's actually got a little lab set up. It's pretty freaking cool, and so uh, we're going to try and get as much as we can into that. My little segue only took five minutes, so without further ado, Mr. Tom Jello. Thank you, Todd. You yeah, I'm. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm a bit of a nerd when somebody says, "Hey, we want to talk about something. We want to talk about a partnership." I'm the type of guy who wants to just jump in and actually make it work and make sure that it works for me. So, um, we, you know, we're talking about making a tier one certifier cable tester work with a brother labeler. Um, so I want to make that work. And I happen to have an Android. That's what I use. I'm, I guess I'm one of those people who use an Android. So I also want to make that work. So uh, we'll be able to show that. But of, of course, of course, um, I like you said, I'm sure that there'll be some mistakes. We're trying to when you do all that, uh, that's fairly simple. But the idea of actually putting it on camera and sharing it over a PC, that's actually where it gets complicated. So I know, I, you know <laughs> it's bound to happen, but that's OK. That's yeah. the beauty of this show. It's it's a couple of dudes, you know, mm -hmm. they're talking, uh, you know, nerd and ease. Uh, Kate, that's mine too. That's mine. I think I, I, there's just yeah. another one there. But anyway, um, and, and that's what this whole business is about, Tom. So you know mm -hmm. what? Uh, mistakes are uh, bound to happen. Um, but nonetheless, is that uh, we'd like to see what you got going on back there. You got it. You got it. So first off, we're I'm with Softing. Um, Softing is uh, it's been around for a while, since, since actually the 70s. Um, we have uh, industrial uh, communications division. We have uh, an automotive automotive division, and we have an IT networks division. In our IT networks division, we have uh, a tier one certification tool. That's the Wire Expert. Uh, we've been selling it for several years, but we've been continually pumping resources and engineering into it to make it a a better tool for technicians and. The whole idea that you have about this one and done philosophy, um, making a project more efficient, we wholeheartedly agree. And I can show a few different examples of uh, of that in in actual in actual practice and why it's important, why you want to make that tool. Um, for example, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of bragging out there about uh, in in the certification world about. Uh, you know, a six second auto test time or a seven second auto test time. And that's nice. But really what you're worried about is how long does it take to do the project and how much how much overage do you have on the project? How much additional time did you spend because of mistakes? God forbid you had to go back to the job site. Right. So well, if you can you know, at the end of the day, you know, and, and, and to expand on that, you know, I'm, I'm an old school contractor, Tom, and, and mm -hmm. we kind of talked about this yesterday where we would take our, our labeler of choice at that time. And, and chances are it was just a little brother and we're hand doing everything. And then we're inside the closet with that certification unit and we're, we're doing everything by hand. You know, as far as when you test the port, you type in the port, you test it. You, you move to the next port, you type it in, you test it. So that's how far I go back. And so, again, what, what, we're, what we're trying to do here with this one and done is get everything done ahead of time, um, you know, on, a, on an Excel spreadsheet that you're going to save as a CSV and then have that database ready to load into the certification head unit as well as load it into the label. And, and it's, it's one and done. So you're, you're avoiding mistakes. Number one, and then you're saving all that time and effort having to hand do everything in. So that's what this whole uh, collaboration is about here. The one Absolutely. 
Absolutely. And, you know, we've been, like I said, we've been kind of doing the same thing on our side. It just didn't include a physical labeling solution. So now brother has this and, you know, those, those values that have been, you know, performed in engineering of the tool, they just mesh perfectly. And, and I'm about to show that. So let's, uh, let me go ahead and uh, share screen and, and we'll just dig into this, um, and be able to show it. So um, first off, uh, I've got a, a few different things going here on my screen and I want to be able to, to kind of show those. I'm, like I said, I'm a nerd. Uh, I, my, my job is to support people. And so, especially with the age of, uh, of COVID, uh, there's been a lot of Zoom support and stuff like that. And to be able to show an idea or a function over camera or over a PC to somebody's smartphone or something like that, it's... That's 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 really kit critical. So we have I have a actual wire expert test set over here, right? And we'll be able to show some testing on that. I have a live brother labeling tool um, ready to go, and it's already cranked out some labels for me. And we'll do some more of those in a moment. Um, I have um, I have my Android phone online. It should be. Let's get that up and running. Just one second. There I it is. Wanna, I want to clarify, Tom. We said yesterday is is I talked to a lot of nerds, and you know, mm -hmm. you, you're, you're a nerd with a, a personality, unlike my other brother <laughs> Sam. You know, my, my brother Sam is just a nerd. Yeah. And it's, it's you know, he's he's flatlined half the time. So it's it's enjoyable to talk to somebody with a personality like yours. Well, thank you. I wish you'd tell my wife that. <laughs> <laughs> There's my dad joke for the day. Um, yeah, let's, let's don't go there. <laughs> um, yeah, so I have my phone shared here as well. So we'll be able to show the brother app and how that interacts with everything. Um, and then we also have our reporting software um, that I can share on screen as well to be able to show what we're doing here. So let's just let's just jump in that. We'll show a few different sequences. There's not there's not like a, a, a rigid set of instructions here to follow. There's just flow, and that's the way that projects work a lot of times. So, let's just talk about it. Um, uh, we have uh, Apollo project, okay? And let's say we've got multiple job sites: Acropolis and Delphi. Uh, we just use some generic names here to to be able to show the example. But we've got a number of tests that have already happened, and we've got also no tests in the Delphi site. So let's go test those job sites now. Softing believes in that one and done philosophy. And so like we have this solution called the label list generator here. So if I wanted to go in and build out a labeling scheme within our software, we can do that. So I could go in and say, let's say the Delphi building and let's say that it has uh, three floors. And let's say that it has a couple T telco rooms. And uh, we could do, of course, racks. And patch panels. How many patch panels do you want, Todd? Uh, porch, you mean, or, or actual patch panels? Patch panels. How many do you want? Oh, well, let's just do uh, three. Okay. I don't know. So there's three. And let's do 24 ports on this one. So within just a few seconds of us typing this in, we can, um, we can, let me make a few changes. There we go, 24. I have some chubby fingers there. So generate labels, we're there. So hundreds of labels, the entire, pro the entire project was basically labeled out right there, okay? Now, the challenge is how to get that to your tester, how to get that to your printer, right? Um, you can, you know, brother has, has done the benefit on that labeler of making it CSV compatible, compatible, which is comma separated values. That's Excel basically. Mm -hmm. So they've, they've kind of opened it up. They haven't made it proprietary. They said, look, you get a, you get a database from, from Excel, you get it in there and we'll print it for you. Right. Well, we've done the same thing in our export reporting software. We've said, you know, if you want to create 
a label system in our list-based testing, you can do that. And that's what I've done here. Hundreds of labels created a complex labeling system. In a matter of seconds, I've done that, okay? But I can also export that to Excel, CSV, and then drop it into the brother scheme, okay? Um, so that's, that's a huge benefit. I can also load that to the tester. You can see we have these things called list-based labeling templates, okay? So I can load this entire template of labels into the tester, and instead of pecking things in with my thumbs on the job site, I'm actually choosing these completed labels from a drop-down list, and that's a much more efficient way to go about things, and I think that matches up with that one and done philosophy that you mentioned, right? Absolutely. So um, let's let me just show one other thing. You you actually sent me a file um, when we first started talking here. You gave me this file, database January twelve, right? So this is actually from from Todd. Okay, so this is this is the other example of how we can do this. We'll use this one actually to, to actually punch down on the on the printer or on the uh, tester and on the printer. Um, but you've got you've got a project built out here, so you've got rooms, floors, uh, patch panels, ports. You've even got names of the of the guys in the office or at the the tos, right? And mm -hmm. then the ID. That's the ID. That's the really the one that we want to get printed here. All this other stuff is relevant for the project, right? Uh, but we want to get that in there, so I can actually take this. Just there's multiple ways to do this, but I'll just show you the, a really quick way. We can just grab those IDs, right? And let's just copy and let's just jump over here into that label list generator. I just used that to build out an entire building for Delphi with that kind of 606 structure and stuff in there. But let's just jump in there and control V. And I just dropped all of those labels into that just by that cutting and cool. pasting. That is very cool. Right, yeah, yeah. One and done, right? So now mm -hmm. I can again export that that cut and paste those IDs into uh, export, or, or sorry, into the tester, just on a USB stick. So you don't, even, you don't even need a cloud solution. That's what's awesome about this, is I can just email this file um, to a technician in the field, okay? who loads it onto a USB stick and plugs the USB stick in and he's up and testing, okay? So the other thing that, you know, I, I'm here in the office, I'm doing this from end to end. I'm creating the labels uh, in Excel, I'm dropping them into the printer and I'm dropping them into the tester. You may be separated from East Coast to West Coast, right? I can actually use email essentially as your cloud solution where you're sharing this file to the person on site who has the tester or the uh, or the uh, the printer, right? So let's just follow this out. I'm going to uh, I'm going to send you that file that we have there, right? Send, okay. And let's just pop open the phone. Imagine imagine I'm on the other end of the uh, other other coast. Right. Yeah, you're you're out here you know, with me in San Diego. Right, we're working on a project. Hey, what what temperature is it there right now? Uh, right now it's uh, 71 degrees. So 40 degrees this morning when I woke up. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind actually. So uh, here's my phone. Let's just go into uh, my email, and it should pop up. Yeah, labels for the Delphi project. Click on it. Let's save it to the device, that database file, January 12th. Remember, that's your full project file that you shared me with me, right? Yep. And let's go to into the uh, Brother uh, Pro Label Tool application. Let's create a new cable flag. So I'm let's back out. So from the very beginning of the application, I'm going to choose cable flag. I'm going to choose new cable flag. I've got the constraints there for media diameter, flag length, all that. I've got the layout chosen. There's a lot of flexibility in there. I'm going to choose done. Now, here's the part where I'm going to pull in that database. I'm going to choose that CSV file. And I'm going to grab that database file January 12th. That's Again, that's the file that you shared with me a long time ago. 
right, mm -hmm. of this hypothetical project, I can look across the fields. You can see there's the labels that we want, 1AB01, 1AB02, right, go across. I want to use that. And I also, let's make that first line as the header. So now we've cleaned that up. Okay, hit done. Let's fill in the fields. Let's make the first field to be the ID. Let's make the second field. We could make the ID. We could put the name on there. We, you could actually put the name. I noticed in your in your file you had Peyton Manning and yeah, um, I just, yeah. <laughs> a lot of rock stars. You could do all that. You know, Whatever fields you want to punch into that label, you could do that. Uh, we'll do double ID on both sides, so it's showing up on both sides of the cable flag, right? And hit the check mark, and now you can see it's pulled up, right? So that's what it's going to be looking like. 1AB01 would be our first, okay? I'm going to scroll up. I can actually apply a filter there and choose which ones I want to print. So let's go across. You can see all that full tables in there. But, again, we're only pulling the ID onto the, onto the label. I want to print 1AB04, 1AB06, 1AB07. 1AB08, right? Pull it back down. Let's print. There you can see the preview at the bottom. Just four labels. This Let's part of the app is, is awesome. I got to tell you, I mean, it's, it's, it's not, we released it on uh, Android for a purpose, you know, to, to have the Toms of the world, you know, the, the go through this. Um, there, there's still parts that, you know, are a little bit wonky, but I got to tell you, this process right here is is fan freaking tastic, and I love it about this new Pro Label tool. So mm -hmm. go ahead, I didn't mean to steal your thunder. No, no, not at all. Uh, I'm going to step over and actually put my hands on the printer, and we'll take a look at it. So let's video that. Step over. Okay, now here's the actual printer. I'm connected via the phone to each other. They're labeled up. I'm just going to hit print. And the brother starts kicking it out. Yeah. Now. Nicely what, done. Yeah. Now, now I, I'm i showing you on, on the brother. Uh, let's take a look at that same label. I, I loaded that same list that you had from the export onto a USB stick. OK, plug that into the tester. Now let's go in. Project settings. You can see that on my screen share there. I'm going to go into list based testing as my label source. So let's choose that. Let's go into. Let's go in. I want to pull that January 12th. Label scheme that you shared with me. And now you can see 312 labels are imported. That's 312 labels. I don't have to worry about being spaced improperly to be, you know, lowercase, uppercase, mistypes, anything like that. It's done. So that same file that you pulled in is now in the tester. That's slick. Like Bruce said, that is slick. Yeah, absolutely. So so now let's go out and actually let's let's pull up a test. So I would I would pull you can see that the, i've got the delphi site on my tester i've got the january 12 label list that you shared with me i could just hit auto test and now there's my list so 1ab01 1ab02 1ab03 those are the labels that we just printed and now they're ready to test you can see i've already printed them i could actually label them as i'm going through the testing now there's something something important. I don't know if you caught Tom, but you know I, I I still find people doing this is that and and even arguing with me, which you, you you're always going to lose. Ask my wife, <laughs> yeah, or, or yeah. my my older brother, or Bruce, mm -hmm. or anybody else out there. But you know, I as a contractor would always label ahead of time. So the the process you just did is is spot on. You label ahead of time. You label your ports. You wrap your cables. Whatever the case mm -hmm. may be. And then you certify because you know what you're certifying. However, I still see contractors out there who will do it opposite, which doesn't make any sense to me. So the way that you did it was spot on by, you know, importing that that database into the, the PTE 550W, printing off your, your labeling 
uh, uh, system and then labeling your patch panels, your cable wraps, your fibers, whatever, whatever the case may be. And then you certify it afterwards. Uh, so absolutely. Certify that. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I'm going to show you some more on the tester in a moment about some additional ways to save time. But already you're you've got some huge hurdles, some huge time killers out of the way with what you're saying. Labeling ahead of time, definitely the way to go. Creating the idea, you know, or the 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 scheme for that labeling, though it's the way to go. All of this is a great, great plan. Inevitably, you know, you're gonna have some mistakes in there. And the way the way that these tools help you overcome those mistakes is also critically important. If a label gets dropped, lost, you can reprint with the brother. If a test gets done improperly with the wire expert, you can retest. If you let's let's say like for instance let's say that we go to this label 1ab01 and we test that as cat 6 when it's supposed to be a cat 6a test right no. what are you what are your options right well i'm going to show you something in a moment with the wire expert you actually don't even have to go back to the site you can actually recertify at that cat 6a limit now it's not guaranteeing you a pass or a fail what it's doing is taking the tested values that you pulled on that first test and applying them to a new limit and if it passes you're very happy if it fails well then you have to go back to the job site to test but at least you're giving yourself a chance at saving a considerable amount of time right one other like an, another scenario we have we have we have contractors who say they've sent a tech to they never they, by the way it's never them that made this mistake it's always the guy it's always the other guy who did it and i i appreciate that what they're saying there right but like they'll have a tech who goes to the job site and an entire let's say it's 200 drops 200 drops are tested you know as cat 6 when it was supposed to be a cat 6a job right that's a that's a huge a huge problem and and using that recertification process is one way to avoid if you can get out of out of you know the 200 drops if you can get 150 of those to pass cat 6a and only 50 need to be retested you save yourself a considerable amount of time absolutely right? i like that and so also sequentially you know in inside our tester we have a list like i said so 1ab01 is the first is the first label that we have in that list that you gave us but we don't have to test that first you can actually jump down to the middle of the list and test some, you can test 1ab09 and then back to 1ab08 you can bounce around and as you test those labels they're color coded on the tester so if you look at gray you can see to the left it's untested and as you test it it's going to go from gray to green for passing or red for fail and you can actually pull in and pull it up and you can see the result there and I can actually retest if I need to so in case if it's a fail right I go make the correction because maybe we've got a pair that's swapped so you go make the correction and retest and now that same label is being applied to that retested corrected cable right very slick man very cool very we cool. also yeah I mean, softing still including like we have our locator function. So this is our TDR time domain reflectometer function. You can actually go in and look at near and crosstalk as a function of the length of the cable. So where is this cable the weakest? This cable happens to be a passing cable, but just from the values here, you know, from zero feet to seven, this is a very short cable, but you know, you could test a longer cable if you wanted, but this, this graph would be relevant to that. You could see that the near jack, which is the near patch panel, is weaker than the far jack. And you can also see the data down to the pair. So, so instead of just guessing or replacing the entire cable, avoid ripping and replacing. Let's, let's figure out which of the jacks is the weakest and not just re-terminate the entire jack. Let's look down to the pair, see which of those pairs is the weakest. So maybe we just have to punch down 7-8 again and call it a day. Well, things have things have come a long way since you know I was testing out in the field with my mod tap. I know I know there's some little farts out there that are gonna go. Hey, I, I remember that, but uh, things have definitely come a long way. I mean, this is just incredible, and 
if I had these tools when I was still a contractor, um, you know, the, the, the chances are I probably would be retired by now. <laughs> but again, that that's the whole idea of the one and done. And, and um, you know, it just, uh, it, it's, it's growing by leaps and bounds. And, and the more you can do with less time, obviously, and more efficiency is, is very important. Yeah, I totally agree. That philosophy is spot on. And further, uh, I'm back in the export software. Let's say we get back to the job site. I can go in. Let's let's look how quickly I can actually relabel, reapply labels to these to these tests. So I've got this label here, MDF 165A16. I can just rename the cable label. Let's say that we want to change that value, that MDF. Say we want to call it MDF A. Not that you would, but you could rename it and now there it is mdf a 165 a 16 mm -hmm. very quick very clean i can choose multiples and do the same thing so i can choose all of the all of the values in this entire job site and replace those cable labels let's say i just want to change all the mdfs listed I want to change those for md change it for uh, again, not that you would, but you could. Let's just change it to PDF. <laughs> uh, it would be typically it'd be the opposite mistake right. right there, right? But let's just change that. And now it's going to go through 146 labels and wow. instantly change those over to PDF, wow. right? So you can see all of those have been changed. That's efficient, right? Yeah. Um, Tell me. This is go ahead. Stuff. Good, good, good stuff. So, well, you know what, Tom, I, I uh, anything else? we got two or three minutes. Um, you know, we, we are going to run over by a few minutes. And I already told Tom and Kate ahead of time that there was a lot of material to cover here. We're going to run over a few minutes. Uh, Tom, in closing, you got anything else you want to show the folks out there? Well, you know, the this is the wire expert that we're talking about here. That's our tier one certifier. Um, we have, like I said, we've kind of dumped a lot into it. Um, as you can see, it's compatible with the brother labeler. Mm -hmm. um, we now have released a, a Wire Expert 500, which hardware wise is exactly the same as the 4500. Uh, we basically just made it more affordable, and we've done that by turning off certain licenses. So the 500 is able to scan up to 500 megahertz, which means it tests all the way up to CAT 6A, okay, mm -hmm. which is right now it's the vast majority of work right. here in the united states um but there's no there's no compromise otherwise on that i mean you can test mptl links you can test uh you get all the channel hardware all the uh permanent link hardware the interface it is the exact same tester it just doesn't scan up to cat 7 and 8 and if you ever do want to do that you just simply turn it on with a software license so the wire expert 500 has a great promo right now um it it is, I think, truly the best value in the certification market. Um, it has all these little tools and tricks and, and benefits that you've seen here. Um, uh, and so come take a look. It's, it's, a, it's, it's something that we kind of take pride in providing a complete, efficient solution. Um, and uh, our users are really imagine, appreciate Tom, it. You could do the same thing with the new 500 that you can do right here, right? Uh, the, yeah, actually, the tester that I'm using right now is a 500 that oh. I've just added licenses to. Yeah, oh, okay. so I added license for fiber testing and I added a license for testing okay. CAT 8. So, but it's yeah. it is a 500. It, there is no difference. So, well, we are. Um, Kate is going to share uh, Tom's information uh, with you at the end of the show. Um, and then uh, Tom has uh, a slew of manufacturer reps. In fact, we share some some reps together. Um, but if you need some more information, um, you can always reach out to me. I can forward you Tom's information, or Kate is going to show you Tom's information. Any questions, comments, or concerns, um, you know, re reach out to either one of us. So, you know, Tom, with that being said, man, I really want to thank you. This was really, really informative. And, and you, you killed it. You nailed it. <laughs> You absolutely nailed it. And thank you very much for doing your homework on your end and um, basically backing up my BS when I said it, it does work. And, <laughs> um, your due diligence in, in uh, making me look good 
which is near next to impossible. But I, I, again, I thank you very much and I look forward to uh, our endeavors. One of the things that we'll be doing shortly uh, is I did a very archaic Cro-Magnon kind of tutorial on how to do this via Android. Um, I am asking my marketing department to clean that up because it's actually quite embarrassing mm -hmm. uh, to show the general public. And once that's done, um, those instructions will be available for uh, anybody using uh, Brother and anybody uh, utilizing uh, the softing tool, both for uh, Android and, and iOS. So Tom, appreciate you, man. Appreciate you a whole bunch. Thank you very much. And we will be talking soon. Todd, absolutely. I'd love to do it again. All right. Kate, can you show uh, Tom's uh, contact information there? Well, let's go through. No, hold on a second. Ah, there's Tom right there. All right, there's Tom. So if you have any questions, contact Mr. Jallo. Uh, he is back east, so keep that in mind as far as the time zones. But anything we talked about today uh, or something in general, contact uh, Tom. He is now an expert on our... Uh, brother pro label tool as well so um, any questions on that pro label tool or ios or android reach out to either one of us as far as upcoming shows we got some good ones we got some good ones coming up here so next show november 18th labeling essentials for uh, labeling essentials for smart buildings um i'm going to be expanding what i did uh what, what i did yesterday expanding on what i did yesterday um and the full spec that i'm in the process of writing now will be done so um we got a lot of interest in in uh specs uh yesterday and i'm like oh crap i gotta i gotta, I gotta update this stuff uh so anyway i'm in the process of doing that on december 2nd we have another collaboration huh sunbird dsim if you've never seen sunbird dsim in action it is awesome software but we also have the capabilities of extracting that asset information and printing them out on the PTE 550W. So you, you don't want to miss that one. Uh, very data center centric, but it applies to everything out there in the industry as well. December 16th, I have my friends at Triplight. Me and Scott Cordell go way, 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 I mean, way back, man. So Mr. Scott Cordell is going to be my guest. Uh, and we're going to talk about Triplight and uh, things that need to be labeled within that sector of the business. So look at the time, 1036. You know what? The six minutes, and as far as I'm concerned, were absolutely worth it. Uh, having Tom go through everything flawlessly, um, I'm very, very thankful. Um, and actually, we didn't practice. He did that on his own. Um, so, you know what? I, I am very impressed. Uh, yes, he's a nerd, but uh, he's, he's, he's got a personality. So he's, uh, he was a pleasure to work with. Um, again, 1036, be safe the rest of the week. I really uh, am, am appreciative of everyone out there who watches the show. Please tell a friend. We got shirts available. If you want a shirt, actually, I should take that one down over here. That one is not available anymore. We have shirts available. Reach out to your brother, uh, manufacturer representative. They can get shirts for you. Um, so I think that's it, Kate. I think that I'm, I'm, I'm done. I wouldn't say one and done, but with that being said, have yourself a great week and thank you very much until we see you next time.